All righty. Welcome, welcome. I'm a minute early. Okay, cool. So now you'll be able to see the. All righty, here we go. Oh, people are coming on. All right. Nice. Okay. All right, so welcome everyone. Really glad you're here. Um, I'm going to be asking for a uh, volunteer, some people who would like to participate with me. What that looks like is uh, I'm going to be asking for um, if you've got something running, meaning feeling like a victim or, um, you know, things that are happening in your life that you just want some understanding with. Okay, so I'm going to be asking to see if we can have someone that will be willing to participate. So let's see here. I'm going to have to use my glasses because I have to see. Okay, I for keep forgetting we can't talk. I mean, I'm talking, but you won't be able to talk. Okay, so we have Maureen. Maureen, I'm going to use you. Can you go ahead and just maybe give me, just share something, meaning what's happening in your world that you'd like um, some clarity? If you go ahead and, how do we, what? Pin comment. What does that mean? Okay. Maureen, go ahead and type something in since we can't talk. And then I'll pin your comment. <laughs> okay, and if there's other people as well, um, you know, if you kind of get ready and once I'm done with Maureen, then you can also, okay, we got Denny as well. Okay, so whoever whoever gets their words up, I'll, I'll um, go there first. Basically, what I want to do is show you, or not show you, but, you know, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of higher consciousness teachings that most of humanity does not have. And I don't care if you've been doing Buddhism or Taoism or any kind of spirituality. There's still, <laughs> there's still things people don't get. Like, I used to live in the Bay Area. Uh, for me, that was like the, the hub of consciousness. And... Um, you know, I had a lot, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people there. There was like big name people like Gangaji and, um, you know, Deepak Chopra and different people would be out there and, and uh, giving teachings or whatever. And I had a lot of classes that I used to teach. I even had a program called Know Thyself. And I would have people come in who would actually claim to be enlightened. And yet they didn't have some of the most basic teachings that, you know, unless you, without those teachings, then, you know, you're still going to be a victim. You're still going to be blaming. You're still going to be doing things that aren't really uh, for your highest good or for the, for the truth, truth of who you are. All right. So, okay. So can um, either Maureen or Denny, can either one of you go ahead and write something? Because I got... Um, Okay, so if you write, can you write something? Cause I'm, you know, I need to, I need you to say something. I'm not trying to, you know, do the psychic thing. So, alrighty. Okay, if there's somebody who would like to participate, please go ahead and write out some. Go ahead and write, you know, write some words that let me know what it is that you want help with, or so we can actually, um, literally do this. You know what I mean, like. I need a volunteer, but you got to write something. Okay. 
Eileen, hello. And okay. So, you know, also in the book, the my book called Way Back Home, which you can get through our web, my website, our website, and uh, some of the things in there. For example, when you are learning about your reactions, learning how to stop making your reactions about somebody else. I mean, that's huge. It takes. I remember in my Know They Self program, it would take almost two years two years of, of talking with people, of helping people, before they started realizing that, oh, I'm having a reaction. Okay, let me pull it back in. So, okay. Reply. I'm going to reply to her. Whoops, what happened? Right, so I'll post that. Now, how do I go back? All right. Okay, dokie. Okay, doc. New comment. All right, where's the comment? Victimhood. All righty. Okay, let's go back to Maureen. Maureen, okay, so some, everyone can read this. I keep forgetting. Okay, so. And when you, um, what, if you want him to come live with you, oh, what, okay. I, I don't know how that worked, Eva. <laughs> that didn't seem to work. Um, okay, so Eva's telling me if you want them to come live, you can click on their picture and invite them in. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so how do I? Hmm. Invite auto video. You know, we probably should have done something like because I don't know how to do this. This isn't going to work for me. Okay. Let's just come back to. <laughs> Cancel. Okay. So, Maureen. All right. Okay. All right. So, Maureen, when you think about this, when you feel like brut brutally betrayed, okay, and leaving you financially, yeah, like destitute sort of, okay, and so I'm talking to Maureen Keefe, K-E-E-F-E, -E -E, all right? So, when when you when you when you think about that, are you feeling like like the victim? I mean, in some ways, uh, you know, when we feel betrayed, we do feel victimized. I mean, you know, it's like anything that happens in our world where we feel as though something's been done to us, we're going to feel victimized. Okay, so Maureen, when you, whoops, hang on, where to go? Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be interesting, people. I apologize because this is like a whole new thing for me. Um, okay, okay, there we go. So completely paralyzed, put out there to work, da, da, da. overcoming fears. Okay, all right, so we've got <clears throat> Maureen. Okay, click on comments, pin comments. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. So, Maureen, when, um, yeah, I, okay. So, people, another thing I want to share with you is the incredible amount of energy that is actually not you. And that includes your reactions, your, your mind thoughts, your beliefs, um, your uh, emotional. Uh, instabilities, places inside where you are emotionally distraught or, you know, wounding, those kinds of things. Massive amounts of energies are not you. It's really a trip. So, like, for example, Maureen, with you, as I'm kind of scanning as well, so, you know, people, here's another thing that happens that I think is really important, there's another really important piece, is when you have interactions with someone, 
and there's a lot of emotions occurring, oftentimes you're going to push your emotions into their body as well as you're going to be feeling them inside of you. And emotional energy is not a discarnate, it's, it's not entity, it's not past lives, it's not your wounding, it's emotional energy that belongs to somebody else, not you. Okay, so as I'm tracking, the reason I'm bringing this to the surface is because with Maureen, I can still see that in your physical body, there are still energies that are in you that are coming from the, the situation, from the people or person that, that you felt that you were betrayed by. And you're going to feel more lost. You're going to feel more intense feelings. You're going to feel more of that person's energy inside of you. So, <clears throat> Maureen, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that energy out of you, and then I'd like you just to feel back in and just notice what that feels like once that energy of the the the, the person who's betrayed you and and undermined you basically. Um, yes, feeling paralyzed out, to put yourself out there. So just so just for just a moment, I'm just going to go ahead and pull their energy out of your physical. Yeah, they're anchored right into your. Yeah, they're anchored. Okay, so there's cord. They've corded right into you. Now I'm going to remind everyone. You know, we're all dancing together. You know, everyone's doing the soul dance together, and it really isn't about being victims. It's really more about you've called this in okay so you've called it in and the reason you've called it in is because you're doing this for your own unraveling for your own liberation people you've been doing pat you've had past lives incarnational experiences hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lifetimes some of you over a thousand lifetimes some of you more than a thousand lifetimes more than two thousand lifetimes it just depends on you know where you are what you've been doing but basically you're trying to unravel the very issue that, that got lit up for you, Maureen, the, the whole feeling of now you're paralyzed and, and not trusting and unstable. Well, you've been trying to unravel the same kind of energy, the same kind of frequency, the same kind of emotional experience that's being lit up for you right now. You've been trying to unravel this for, whoa, whoa, hang on, whoa over 50 lifetimes at least, maybe even more, that are, you know, that you've been trying to unravel the same kind of reactivity, the same kind of experience, okay? So what we're doing in our evolution is, and souls evolving is, you know, we, we're actually truly, you know, creator incarnate, divine beings. And when we incarnate, you all know this already, you come in, you forget. You forget all your past lives. You forget many, many things. Some people still have windows slightly open, but mostly you're not going to remember very clearly everything that's happening. Okay, so on some level, Maureen, what's happened for you is, okay, yeah, so, so several lifetimes ago, it felt like you got like really, really distraught, like hopeless, giving up. Did she kill her? Yeah. Did she actually kill herself? No. Okay. One and two. Yes. Okay. So, so in the unraveling, what's happening is your, your higher levels as well, your super consciousness, your higher levels, the aspects of you, the oversoul frequencies of you are all trying to get you to get through this particular experience of being betrayed to the point where you basically almost collapse, okay? So in that journey, I'm sure you did a lot, I'm sure you had a lot of emotions come up, I'm sure you had a lot of, you know, like, big big cathartic experiences and here's here's the key to unraveling the subconscious so in unraveling the subconscious when we're trying to access your conscious mind will never find that most of you already know this but basically maureen for you when you feel into how this whole situation made made you feel okay it probably made you feel hopeless and it made you feel like you can't trust and it, and you know anger and frustration and grief despair even even like really a lot of fear okay so all of these energies already live inside of you if they didn't you would not have called this experience to you okay so What's happening is that your soul, on a soul level, you are literally trying to unravel all these past lives and this journey, this experience of betrayal, 
okay? So you've had many, many, many different kinds of betrayals, but this one really hits you in a really deep way, the same kind of way it hit you in several lifetimes ago. And what's actually being asked of you is to completely surrender to the experience and all of the emotions so that you can know thyself in this way so you know who you are in this experience and then by knowing fully then your body can let go and you don't have to keep reincarnating or keep re, re, uh, redoing the same issue over and over but basically the surrender to something is and i've said this before but not here on on facebook but basically the surrender to your experience means that when you're in the feeling, Maureen, so for you, when you were going into these really deep, intense feelings, um, when you did have big, big releases, the, the key, too, is that you and the, to the surrender, the true surrender means that you literally let go and surrender to an emotion, to a feeling so fully that there is nothing else but that. That means the moment you have a mind thought, the moment you uh, are become aware of your surroundings, you're no longer in the subconscious. Now you're back in the conscious mind, which is what most people are doing. When people, throughout my life, when I've been working with people, people would say to me, oh yeah, I've done all this emotional work. And they're like, you know, like they're feeling like they've done it all, okay? But I'm looking at them and it's like, no, you haven't. You haven't done your emotional work. You've been recycling the same, 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 same thing over and over and over, okay? Which is what we've also done in past lives. You've done the same friggin' things, same only different, different, you know, different scenarios, but it's always about the same feeling, the same emotion that's being triggered and being lit up inside, okay? So here it is again, Maureen. You're, you're in it again. This isn't your first rodeo. It's been done many, 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 many times, and, and now you're just trying to unravel it all the way. Okay, each time that you incarnate, your soul levels are thinking, or your soul is thinking, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to get it this time. I'm going to unravel it this time. I'm going to, you know, be liberated from this this time. So you're believing that and trusting that, but that doesn't mean that's what's really going to happen because, again, if you don't know how to surrender, if you don't know how to um, drop in and let the body completely release, then you're, you, you haven't released it, okay? So here's, the thing is, is when you're going through something really profound and really deep, and you're doing the unraveling, and you want to access the subconscious, first thing you have to do is soften and surrender into that top emotional frequency, whatever that is, but I'm going to tell you straight up, that's going to be a feeling that you're already familiar with. You already know this one, okay? The key is stay with it, relax into it, surrender into it, soften into it, say yes to it. And then when you're right there and you're just being with that, then you take your awareness and you go underneath and you're still in your conscious mind, but you're going to find another component of this. Stay with that same process. Now, when you go underneath that one, now you're starting to access, starting to touch the subconscious. In order to release things, we have to go into the subconscious. Okay, so then as we go in, if you now you go to the next layer, next frequency, and really go into that, and then you this is the one you start surrendering into. Whatever that frequency is, whatever that emotion is, you want to drop in fully. You make sure your consciousness is in your body, awareness behind your eyes, and then you drop in and you allow the body to have its emotional uh, knowing, emotional frequent feeling the emotions so that you're fully in your body, inhabiting the body. Know thyself in this way so that you can be done with and release it, okay? So now I'm gonna go back to, with Maureen, I wanna go back to the frequency um, with um, pulling these the energy out. So I didn't do it yet. So let me just go ahead and, I was looking at it and I got, got going on something else. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the energy out. <laughs> pull the energy out of her body, pull it out, 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 out. Clear, 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 clear. Good. Now, I'm actually going to release agreements and contracts that she's made to know herself in this way at the higher levels and also with all those that she's co-created with. You know, we, we have co-creations. Everything's a co-creation. Okay, so then we, then we begin to unravel and yep, take her higher levels, super consciousness, and release agreements and contracts. And then from the subconscious, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, Maureen, you've got, you've got this anchored in. You've got this victim frequency really anchored deeply in your consciousness. You've got massive amounts of victim energy inside of you that's not even yours. Most of this energy inside of you is not yours. So I'm just going to start releasing some of that as well. Clear, 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 clear. Bringing that light in. Clear, 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 clear. Good. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's almost like the rug got pulled out from underneath. That's what's going to feel like. The rug got pulled out from underneath you. And actually, this is also part of your soul's co-creation. All right, so now, all right, so then start releasing all those frequencies, getting that energy out, 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 out. Clear, clear, clear. There we go. Good, good, good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good, good, good. Now, for that feeling like the rug got pulled out from underneath you, it's almost like ripped out from underneath you. You're gonna have exp you're gonna have thoughts and beliefs that, like being forsaken or being punished or things like that. None of those are true. None of those are real. Even those thoughts are not yours. So, um, yeah. So even the thoughts. I'm gonna even release some of those thoughts. You know, the the big thoughts, the big questions, the big whys, the big victim energy frequencies in the in the body, so let me just release clear, 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 and go. All righty. Okay, doke. Okay, Maureen. So now, if you can, let's see. Um, let me pin this comment if that works. Where did it go? Hmm. Okay, so Maureen, can you go? Can you let us let me know? Um, like right now, when you think about that whole situation and the and the. Uh, the, who that was with see if that feels any less intense for you when you think about that because when you have people in your physical body um, you're going to feel them and if, if they're you know if it's just their emotions they don't just go away and that's, you know that's the that's the problem is other people's emotional energy doesn't just go away okay it stays in your energy field sometimes you you know if it's really intense you got to remove it have someone help you remove it or if you know how to do it yourself then you can take it out okay so now i just want to see if maureen where's maureen okie dokie maureen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to see if 27 more comments. Maureen, where is she? There she is. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Click on comments. Pinned comment. Where? I don't see a pinned comment. Okay. So, Maureen, I'm right at the bottom here. Uh, you went through feeling, yeah, feeling uh, valueless. Okie dokie. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Oh, I see. I get it. Okay. Okay. Might be a, such a mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. We got the com. I'm going to pin her comment right here so people can see it. You're right. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the big spiritualizing it. That's always cool. All right. Good. So Maureen, now when you, yeah, when you feel into your body now and you think about that whole situation, cause that was big. That was, I can see it. It was like huge. Yeah. Yeah. And other, yeah. Yes, it's true. So people, um, yeah, everyone's getting cleared no matter who I'm working with. That's just how it works. Okay. So Maureen, now when you think about it, just see if that feels softer, less intense. Okay. But what's key here, people, is that you understand that it's a co-creation, okay? I know people don't like this, okay? When I say there's no victims, there's no, no victims, it's like people don't like that. They don't, wanna, they don't wanna believe that there are no victims, okay? They, it's like, yeah, but this is happening to me. How can, how can I not be a victim if I'm being betrayed or if I'm being undermined or you know, things of that nature? Okay, but the bottom line is this, you are co-creating all the time. You have basically completely co-created this and yeah, it was massive, I feel liberated. Okay, cool, all right, let me, let me pin this one. So Maureen is saying it was massive, I feel liberated. All right, people. Okay, so I wanna point out, I didn't do anything to Maureen, okay? All I did was take out what is not her and also unraveled her agreements to know herself in this way, 
okay? And then I took out a bunch of victim frequency, and in doing so, it changed her, re it's changed her reality, okay? You saw how fast that was, how quickly it happened, and, you know, and she's feeling massively changed. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and, um, okay, I can't help the, the transmissions, okay. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pick someone else. Okay, dokie, let's see here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick someone and when I pick you, um, okay, let's go with Greta Skyver. Greta Skyver, can you go ahead and just let me, I've got this here, I've got you, I'm gonna pin your comment. Whoops, how's that work? Okay, hang on, oh, there, oh, I get it. I get it. Okay, so we can see Greta Skyver's um, issue here, and she's been working for a year with on my team or whatever. And okay, have, with heart and integration. If I return love, I will die and love is torch. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, this is perfect. This is good. Okay, so Greta, um, what I want to bring to your awareness, okay? So in some ways, can you acknowledge, does it feel, do you feel like victimized? Do you somehow feel like, um, whoops, where'd it go? Oh, there she is. Okay. Okay, so when you, when, when you feel this into this, Greta, there's gonna be like, a, um, like an emotion. There's gonna be an experience of an emotion, like for example, you might feel unsafe to let yourself open your heart, okay? You might feel, um, yeah, you're gonna die, love is torture, yep. Okay, so Greta, right now, I've got you pinned up here so other people can see this. And again, I'm just gonna remind you that same, you know, here's the thing. This is true for everyone. It doesn't matter what you're experiencing or what you're living. You have made agreements to have these experiences, okay? And in the unraveling of your, of all your, your the wounding and the beliefs and all the, the traumas, part of it, part of what's really important is the recognition and understanding and then the active participation that you are a co-creator. You're not a victim. Okay, so Greta, you might still feel on some level, you're going to feel like somehow like a victim, okay? But you're also, um, yeah, so there's also the, that fear and, and did something happen in this lifetime, Greta, where you activated this whole experience? Like you're saying this has been going on for a while, obviously, and you've been working on it for a while. Um, so that means, yeah, that means that this has been going on for a while. I'm going to go ahead and, and check your um, your past uh, into your live stream. I just want to get a sense of um, how long you've been doing this particular dance. And, and again, people, I want to remind you, she made agreements to have this experience. It looked different, same only different, okay? Maybe different situations, but the emotion is the same. This is what I'm want to impart upon you is the emotion that you're experiencing in your life is the same emotion that you've been experiencing in your past lives, okay? All that's happening now is different scenarios, you know, different events, different seeming, different people, sometimes same souls, but it's, this, it's eliciting, it's causing you to have the same emotional reaction, all right? And that's what we want to unravel. And that's what I'm talking about when you feel into how something makes you feel. It's really about surrendering completely, so fully, that you are nothing but that emotion. That's when you're unraveling the subconscious. When you unravel the subconscious, then you start to unravel the wounding, okay? And of course, there's gonna be discarnates and all kinds of different pieces contributing to part of that, but at the same time, you know, it's like, finally, you're going to start unraveling things. Okay, just got Sacred Heart back from Jesus. Okay, yeah, yes. All right, cool. All right. Now, so with, um, 
So Greta, sweetie, what I want you to do is I want you, I know you got, I know you said you got your sacred heart back from Jesus. Okay. That's great. And I want you to feel back into when you think about love, when you think about opening your heart to love right now, I want you just to do that. I'm just going to track your energy and see what happens in your body. Okay, good. Now get out of the way. Forget about it because here's what's happening. Again, you've got energy in your body. That's not you. You've got frequencies. Is there, okay, what is this? There's some kind of dark interference energy that's going on in there as well. What is this? There's something definitely in her. Did this come in this lifetime? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to pull that energy out. Just capture that, grab that, pull that out. Be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone. Clear. Uh-huh. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And then two, another thing, people. Whatever you got running inside of you, you're going to attract discarnates to you, okay? Just imagine whatever frequency, whatever energies that you're running and um, whatever wounding you've got. Like, for example, let's just say that in your past, okay, let's use, okay, so Greta. So she feels fearful of love, doesn't trust it, scares her, okay? So that's a frequency, okay? That's a frequency, all righty? So she's got this wounding. So what's going to happen is because she has this, she's her energy field is constantly sending out frequencies, sending out the vibration of this wound. So what's going to happen is other energies that have similar or kind of similar energies are going to be attracted and drawn to her. And then they're going to enter into the body because people, most people don't have a clue about, ownership, sovereignty over your own physical body, okay? So you're still, you know, you're still thinking that, uh, I don't want to be here, I didn't ask to be born, all those good things. But basically, you just keep adding more and more and more. So you're getting all these people coming into your physical body based on your wounding. So it exacerbates and it compounds what you're already experiencing, okay? So even the energy of of you know that the feeling that she's talking about that Greta's talking about and you're not trusting and and fear and all of that t um yeah terror even i think yeah torture torture yeah so all of that none of that's you okay so i'm, I'm going to just show you so Greta in a moment i'm going to have you just check in but right now i'm just going to start releasing and clearing energies and frequencies that are not you yeah, 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 clear, 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 clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Go, 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 go. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna pull out past loves, lovers out of your body. Whoa. Yeah, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. See what's happening as well is she's got people attached to the heart center, to the um, solar plexus, to the second chakra area attached, holding. Okay, so I'm just gonna go higher level, super now. Okay. Paradigm, be done. Clear. There we go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Clear. 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 Go. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. Beautiful. Nice. And I'm gonna pull more. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Where are you, Greta, girl? Yeah, you've been floating out of your body, sweetie. Can okay, I'm gonna pull it back in because now there's less damage, less pain, less anguish, less torture. Good. There we go. Good. Good. Okay. Beautiful. Nice, good, drop her in, clear that energy. Okay, Greta, now, sweetie, when you feel in, if you can go ahead and just write a comment and um, let me know. Um, oh, sorry, are you still there? Let me just make sure Greta's still here. Phone cut out, sorry, here, okay. Let's see if she's got something else. All right, so I'm waiting to hear from her, see if she can respond. Uh, <laughs> okay, dokie. All right. So she may not be with us anymore. Okay, I'll just kind of wait for her. But in the meantime, I'm going to move forward. Okay, I got another one. Oh, that's not going to hold this victim program. Okay, blocking second one. Da, 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 da. Did another combo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and come back up here. Utah. Okay. What? Okay. On the own country. Oh. Okay. Down right there. <laughs> okay. I'm just looking for another another good one here. Okay. 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 All right. There's an Effie. 
had is I'm going to pin her comment. Whoops, let me let me just check on what was down here. No, not yet. I'm going to unpin comment. Okay, okay. Okay, let me go back here. Let me go back up. Let's see if we can find that one. That looks like a good one. Okay. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to pin this one. Okay, Effie. Whoops, did I do it? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, Effie. So, in okay. All right. So this is a good one, people. Oh, okay, so Effie All right, so people here's what happens. This is like being attacked like interferences So I pinned her comment so you can read her comment and she's talking about dark forces implants curses things of that nature feeling like they're still um, Lingering and affecting her. Okay, people. I'm going to remind you. This is really important. I have people all the time that are like these really precious, sweet people, okay? Sweet, sweet, kind, generous, and yet they're being whacked. They're being hit hard by um, interferences. So generally what happens, and I'll check into this with her in just a moment, but generally what's happening is you've got past incarnations where you have done heinous crimes, where you have caused harm, where you have hurt people, you have been atrocities, um, some of you have even done things like um, within within the realms of the satanic ritual, satanic worshiping, things of that nature. You've done things where you've done soul capturing, soul devouring, soul annihilation, soul torturing. If you've done any of those things, the powers of darkness don't just let you go. Just because you want to do uh, a Benedict Arnold does not mean that you're going to be freed. In fact, you aren't going to be freed. Okay, so. You need intervention with this kind of situation when you've got these really dark energies and you got, you know, evil frequencies interfering with you. We have to unravel and release whatever you have done. Okay. So when I come back down to her, I'm now going to check with, with, with Effie and just check it out to see. I'm just going to be asking her higher levels and uh, soul levels, okay, did, okay, so she's experienced these inter interferences. People, if there's any interference with dark forces, any kind of dark energies, any kind of voodoo, witchcraft, black magic, wizardry, sorcery, that you're being affected by, that's a red flag that you've done some stuff, okay? So when I check back, okay, hang on, what, 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 what? oh yeah, okay, hang on. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you the visual, you know, you, you guys, it's like, you're volunteering by giving the go-ahead here by writing your post, so this is the way it works, all right? So here's the thing. I'm checking out, watching the energy. Those of you who have intuitive skills, intuitive abilities, you can track with me, you can get a sense of this. Right now, she's actually being held. She's, not, she's caught, she's trapped and being held by really dark energies, okay? I can see it, out of her, not in her physical body, but in her, on her, in her, in her soul frequencies. Okay, so she's tried to get away, but what's happening is I, there's something going on here. I'm going to go track back now. So as I go back in time, I want to get a sense of what's going on with this being, with the being now known as Effie. What's going on here? What did she do? Mm-hmm. Okay, doc. Here we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, so we got lifetimes of pure heartlessness, pure evil, causing harm killing wiping wiping people out wipe mm -hmm. is that like genocide kind of, mm -hmm. so there's some kind of genocide thing happening oh okay hang on she did something really big what is this like a whole civil like a whole be it's like a whole civilization or some beings yeah destroyed annihilate yeah 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 okay yeah okay so that's what's happening so she's done mega 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 atrocity torture like really dark energies really intense energies so when we to unravel this basically you know you guys here's the thing we're all you know we're all divine beings we're in the core of everyone is light and ultimately we will all return back into pure of that prayer frequency of awareness light of creation light of the all that is but until then we need each other we need help okay so with effie um as i check in and i'm going to start unraveling some of this and i'm going to show you how to do this this will also help you if you're doing, you know, doing things, helping others. Okay, so basically, I'm going to connect with 
basically all the all the beans whoa thousands and thousands of beans thousands of beans okay higher level of super consciousness echo it out this is all paradigm time with acceleration and here's the thing i can accelerate souls and i can release them from all this dark energy so right now i'm going to go ahead and release that energy go 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 yeah there we go okay good now we're going to let yeah so releasing agreements and contracts to, to know herself in this way as well as all the co-participants all the people that also were co-creators and all of this even the victims that includes all the victims Okay, so then I'm just going to quickly just move some energy and I'm going to go into her physical body, release some of the victims. She's got lots of victims inside of her. There's still more to come out. Clear out light, 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 light. So I'm just clearing, clear, clear, clear. Releasing those energies out, out, out. Pulling her back into her body. Now I'm going to go release these energies, these really dark energies that have been holding her, keeping her bound, keeping her held back, you know, keeping her stuck, attacking her. Okay, now I'm just going to have a little conversation with these guys. It's, that's all paradigm. It's time for this to be done. Do you understand? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. You can be gone. Acceleration. This other group right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Big guns. Let her go. That's it. This needs to be done. Complete. Give me the go. There we go. Good. Now pull your energies out, 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 out. Good. Clear, 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 clear. So Good, now pulling her forward, 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 forward. Now bringing that part of her back into her body. There we go, back in, 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 in. Very good. Wow, landing. Mm-hmm. Good, now. Okay, okay. Okay, now Effie, if you can, go ahead and just feel back, feel into your body now. And when you think about all these interferences um, and, and, and feeling um, you know, all that, the, the, the types of energy that you've been feeling and make sure in the portal situation, it's not portal, sweetie. It's, you've been, you're like literally been dragged. You've been being dragged back, back through time. They're trying to, they were trying to punish you. They were trying to do all kinds of things. Okay. So Effie, if you can just give us a little info here, whatever you're noticing, that would be good. <laughs> Effie, okay, you there? Okay, okay. Okay, while she, while we're waiting for her, I'm just gonna see. Okay, okay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and check somebody else while we're waiting for her, see if she's got something. Okay, okay, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blocking my psychic abilities. Okay, dokey. Clearing childhood fears. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Okay, I'm going to go with uh, Nicole Freed. I'm going to go ahead and pin, I'm going to unpin Effie and I'm going to pin Nicole. All right, Nicole, so you've never been able to support yourself financially as an adult. I end up having to run back to abusive parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, history of escaping. And I'm at, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. So with Nicole, again, people, remember, this is like really important. You, you, you make agreements to have big experiences. This is a big experience, okay? Being locked, up, locked in where you have to keep running back to your, your family, to your, where, where it feels abusive. This is big, you know, these are big experiences, okay? So again, with Nicole, Nicole, you you know, on some level, you have made agreements to unravel a lot of stuff with your parents, okay? Obviously, that's not what you're really doing. What's happening, <laughs> what's happening is, you're, it's like you're in a cycle, you're recycling, rather than getting the lessons, uh, you're recycling. So Nicole, when you think about, um, you know, like when you have to go back with your parents and you think about, um, you know the whole the whole situation with them there's a, there's certain emotions like for example you're saying you got the um 
you know, scapegoat, persecution, bu bu bullying, victimization, okay? So, you know, when you think about those things, Nicole, like I want you to do that right now. I want you just to think into, settle into, feel into what those things feel like, okay? And as you do that, you're going to start to feel different emotions. Like you might feel some of that hopelessness, some of despair, some of the um, like totally impotent, disempowered, completely disempowered, okay? So again, people, the emotions that one is experiencing, these are not the first time you've had these kind of experiences. You're, you know, you're trying to unravel things and you just don't realize what's actually been happening. Yeah, we, yeah, lack of support. Okay, so right now, Nicole, sweetie, can you just let, yeah, let that, Nicole, just for a moment now, just stay right there. Just be right there in those feelings, okay? When you're in these places, it's really challenging to understand that you co-created these for a much greater purpose, and the purpose is to know yourself fully in different ways and always as much as you can so that you can actually know creation, know God itself. Because if you get that creation is everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, the terrible, the wonderful, the beautiful, all of it, all, all, all of it completely, then in order for you to become one with, you too must know all facets of life. So you've been on a major soul evolution, a major soul journey here, and you're trying to unravel it. And the problem is, is there's, the teachings are not out there. They're not written out anywhere. You can't just go somewhere to the library and get them. Not going to happen. Okay. So, Nicole, now as you're lighting that up for me, disempowered, powerless. Okay. There we go. Now, Nicole, sweetie, just get out of the way for a moment. Okay. Yeah. So there's just all these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is something. This is some kind of soul. Is this like a soul fracture and a soul? What is this? She's got, this is some kind of big soul frequency things happening here. I mean, this is pretty big stuff because you become like you're almost like in, incapable of caring for yourself. Okay. Ah ha ha. Got it. Got it. Got it. Alrighty. So someone's thrown some energy over her this lifetime, past life. Yeah. You got people. Yeah. 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 You got energies that are after you, attracting you, and, yeah, disempowering you. Okay, what did she do? What did Nicole do? Okay, she got mega betrayal. She's done, okay, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's done all kinds of things as well. Nothing like the other one, but um, this is like um, piss people off, hurt people. So now, you know, people are definitely um, wanting to cause harm back, okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay, 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 yeah, 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 no, 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 no. yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay, so you're also inundated with all kinds of discarnates. All right, Nicole, sweetie, just relax, listen to my voice, get out of the way, I'm going to start releasing a bunch of energies, da, 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 clear, 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 high level super consciousness, come, 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 clear, 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 Good. Now, okay, Nicole, she's not even in her body. She's completely out of her body. All right, I'm going to start pulling Nicole back in, back in, 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 anchor, anchor, anchor. Okay, good. I'm going to take that cloak energy, like a, there's a whole shroud over her where she's like completely disempowered. Clear, 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 clear. Lift that off, 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 off. Good. Clear, clear, clear. Good. Nice. <laughs> Good, and I'm going to change your reality by changing the agreements to know yourself. Yeah, you got stuck. You got, you're in a pretty deep groove with this one. So, you, you know, you've been doing this a while. So let's just unravel that groove as much as we can right now. Just quickly, quickly, quickly. Clear, 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 clear. Release, release, be gone, be gone. All righty. Okay, Nicole, now go ahead and fill back in. Let's see what it's feeling like right now. Yeah, felt, I felt this. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okie dokie. All right. So, Nicole, go ahead and fill back in now. When you think about your, your life, all the, the terror, all that stuff, just fill back into it. The victimization, scapegoat, all those things. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely feeling lighter. Yeah. So, yes, definitely feeling lighter. So, Nicole, I would just, you know, because this is like a, a big, you know, it's like 
what you're experiencing is kind of a big process, so to speak. And it's, it's not just unraveling the wounding energies or the frequencies that are not you. It's also unraveling all the past, all your past incarnations. Um, yeah, you're shaking pretty hard. Yeah, okay. So just let that, just let the shaking happen. Just let it happen. Let it, let it, in fact, just let it happen. I'm going to be shattering some other things while you let it happen because you got this whole structure. So, mm -hmm. Just go ahead and let it happen. Just relax. I'm going to send my awareness, my consciousness, going to be right beside you. You're going to feel me right there with you. There we go. Now, Nicole, I'm just going to come behind you. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to enfold you in my arms and just hold you. Now, just relax in. Allow, allow, allow. Now, we're just going to go ahead and let a lot of these structures, a lot of these frequencies be released and cleared. Implants coming out, frequencies coming out. Clear, 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 clear. Release, release, release. Go, 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 go. Clear, clear, clear. Now, I'm going to pull more of you back in. More of you coming back in, girl. There we go. Come home. Time to come home. Yeah, come, 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 come back into the body. <laughs> Good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Now I'm going to clear that other frequency that's in the core of your being. Out there. It's not you. Out, 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 out. Yeah, there we go. Clear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. There we go. All right. Good. Now. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, yeah. good, yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right. Okay, Nicole, so that's gonna definitely, yep, yeah, good, 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 sweetie, you're doing good, doing good. Yeah. Okay, so people, um, what's what's really what i really want to yeah you, yeah just let it happen your your body's going to shake because there's a lot of release happening don't worry about it i'm just going to stay right there with you okay you'll feel me okay so i'm just going to stay right there all right so people um what's really important is that you can grasp and understand that you have made agreements to have experiences to elicit feelings and emotions that you haven't cleared and unraveled and healed yet, okay? That's why you keep pulling things to you. We all do. We, we pull forth situations, events, people, all kinds of things. And we're doing that because we're trying to unravel the wounding, the, the, the very frequencies that, that keep us from shining our light, from being the full expression of ourself, okay? So... We don't remember this, but that's what's happening. Okay, so when you start, when you when you can start waking up, can start realizing and remembering. Ah, oh, I'm a co-creator here. Hmm, I've co-created this. Why would I do that? Don't go after that. Okay, it's not about that. The why is actually about your own unraveling. It's about your liberation. Okay, that's why you're doing it because you want to be free. Okay, so. You've had many, many experiences in all your incarnations, and you've gathered evidence and proof that the world's unsafe. You can't trust. You've got so much evidence in your world, and you have to unravel all of that. In order to do that, um, you, have to, you have to know thyself. How are you going to do that? Not with your mind. You can't do it in the mind. So the surrender, it's always about the surrender. When you surrender to whatever you're experiencing, then you access the subconscious. And then by staying in that, then you can unravel all, a lot of massive, massive amounts of unconscious wounding. Okay. So that's one of the, um, you know, the, the ways in which you can unravel a lot of your pain. Okay, so there we go. Okay, yeah, no time, not like time unravel and dump on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So now it's like finally moving in the direction to do that, to make that happen. Good. All right. Okay, people. Okay, so I'm gonna unpin this one. I'm gonna pin up her other comment. This one right here, where she's known for some time that this is the lifetime to unravel and dump all the karmic garbage. Okay, yeah, so, you know, you people, it's also finding all the components. See, here's the thing, you guys, I've been, I've been really seriously committed to tracking humanity. I started doing that back in the 70s, 
70s okay so and then i didn't i didn't go listen to other people i didn't go to other those teachings i did everything direct i went direct i went into the energy fields i went direct into the light to get the purest purest frequency of understanding okay so basically we're all souls evolving we're always all co-creating and if we can wake up to the fact that we really aren't a victim that we wanted to know ourselves in these ways and the way to do that is you got to call stuff in so that's what we've been doing we're all co-creating together calling different situations in and then once we unravel with something we're done we don't have to recreate it again in fact we won't recreate it again and we will be freed from that one. Then we get to move on to the next lesson, whatever that is. Whatever, whatever the next thing is that we've agreed to know ourselves in, that's what we will be doing. Okay. So we got a couple, a few minutes here. What I want to do is I'm going to do a little bit of an activation. Okay, dokey. And okay, yeah. Okay. So this is she's been uh, unraveling massive amounts of other stuff, not just this. This is buried deeply. All right, cool. So this will also help in her unraveling. It doesn't mean it's completely done, but there is some uh, unraveling that's, that's definitely happened. Okay, people. All right, now, so I want everyone, 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 just for this right now, go ahead and feel into your body. Feel into your emotions. Think about your life right now. And I want you to, what I want you to do is I want you to light up your victim energy, that place where you feel like you did, someone did that to me. Okay, that's victim you hurt me why did you do that to me okay that's all victim light it up for me everyone light it up light up your victim energy because everyone's got it even, <laughs> even those who've been doing a lot of work you know go ahead and light it there we go there we go good now everybody get out of the way now i'm just gonna i'm gonna start clearing and releasing that that victim energy but i'm also going to activate your heart frequency your heart center I'm also going to be, actually, I'm going to activate a couple of them. I'm going to activate the first chakra, second chakra, and heart chakra. And as I'm doing that, I'm also going to be releasing and clearing frequencies. But now I'm going to go in, 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 deep, deep, deep into those frequencies, into the very center, the very core of your chakra centers, heart chakra, um, first chakra, second chakra. We're going to go right into these. And then we're going to, I'm going to go recalibrating and activating these these frequent these centers inside your physical body because it's time good first chakra there we go light it up activate activate yep 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 i'm gonna activate some codes in here mm -hmm. let's activate these codes that have to do with no no it's not about life death survival it's about thriving 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 mm -hmm. i'm gonna activate the thriving frequency in that first chakra thriving 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 yeah, thriving frequency, first chakra, beautiful. Activate, activate, activate. Good, 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 good. Now I'm going to go to the second chakra. I'm going to activate the frequency of, of caring, compassion, because that's who you are ultimately. So I'm going to activate that. Yeah, rather than the wounding, the poor me, no, the wonderful life. Love, life is grand. Life is awesome. Love being on the planet. Yep, having compassion, understanding for humanity, activating, activating in the very core of that second chakra frequency. Get that activated. Get that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Got it. Good. Now in the heart center. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Good. So blockages, clearing victims, poor me's. Yep, hurts, betrayals, abandonments. Clear, 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 clear. Now I'm going to go right into that heart center. I'm going to activate, activate that heart center. The love center, the pure, 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 pure love, unconditional love, love, love that actually everyone has. We're going to activate that unconditional love frequency in the heart center. <laughs> Good, beautiful, nice, 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 nice. Good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm now I'm actually going to go to the crown chakra. I'm going to open up the crown chakra. I'm going to start connecting you more with your own higher levels, your super consciousness, and actually with creation itself. Okay, so some, yeah, a lot of you have beliefs, misperceptions of reality. 
Let's clear these out. Let's just blow that open. Okay, take your awareness right behind your eyes. And in upward motion, I want you just to imagine you're just sending lightning right to that crown chakra, opening it up, blowing it open, 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 open. There we go. Open wide, 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 wide. Open, open, open. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, good. There we go. Now, higher level, super consciousness. Now I'm going to have that direct line, light, light, light coming down, shining through at the highest levels. Your super consciousness. There we go. Sending light, 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 light. Sending frequencies. Sending connections. Yeah, right to your higher levels. Lower levels, human levels, physical levels, mental. There we go. Light, 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 right into the heart center. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Very good. Very good. All right. Good. So we got this heart activation body or different activations happening. So that's going to be really cool. And yeah. Okay, people. So uh, just a reminder that we're going to continue doing these. We're also going to, we also have like the Q&A happening, coming up. Um, look for it on our Facebook page. If you don't get our newsletter, sign up for the newsletter. Also, people, if you're interested in learning how to do this work, I'm doing live training. Starts in Je July, first weekend in July, uh, six months. Get all the pieces. And then also I'll be doing my 10-day. We do have a voting thing. So if you're, even if you're not, don't want to go, but if you'd like to go, Vote for the place to go. We got Greece, Crestone, Mexico. Greece, Crestone, Mexico. Hmm, somewhere else. I can't remember. Okay, maybe that was it. All right, people. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for showing up and participating. And definitely thanking those for um, that did participate and were willing to be seen. Okay, very good. Okay, dokie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, unraveled. Okay, so we got another. Whoops. How'd that go? Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, you know, people, sometimes when you want something, if it's going to happen, it's, you know, sometimes you just don't know. So, if you want to learn and train with me, put it out there, let the office know, um, and then let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you all for being here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, there's Maureen. It does. I'm telling you guys, this work rocks. It does big time. It's life changing instantly. All right, people. Thank you. Thank you all for being here and thank you for showing up. Yeah, cool. All righty. Till next time. Yeah, keep an eye out. We got something else coming up pretty soon. I can't remember, but. Yeah. Okay. Till next time. Alrighty.